Uh-oh. We may have dug past it. That's not a good sign, but you never know. It could be a nugget suspended in alluvium. Oh, there's bedrock though. Let's see what happens now. Okay, I moved it. Whatever it is, it's definitely in the uh, one of these piles. All right, it's there. Not in there. Not in there. It's in there. It's in there. Ah, fudge. Piece of metal. Well, hey folks, I'm Adam, welcome to my channel. Today we're out with the PI, and I'm gonna do a little patch hunting today. So, I know that gold was found up in this creek, just a couple pieces, no, you know, nothing, nothing major. But I also know that there was a piece of gold found right over there at the beginning of this creek. So, I'm kinda like, man, if there's gold in both creeks, then I'm gonna have to check them both out. And, so anyway, we'll, I'm gonna head up that one first. I'm gonna go detect everything I can, pretty much. And then, if that doesn't work out, then I'll come up this one, and we'll, we'll go up and we'll detect that one. Um, so we'll see what happens. Anyway, welcome, uh, and we will uh, see you later. I don't get it. There's something there. There is something there. Okay, I think I kicked it loose. Let me grab my scoop here.
Nope. Oh! Hey, it's a piece of gold. <laughs> How about that? Mm-hmm. Hey, man, that thing was... Look at that. Isn't that great? Right on. That's just a... I thought it was going to be way bigger than that. All right. There's our first one for this gully. Hey, folks. Uh, I wanted to give you a quick tip. Uh, this is obviously my 8-inch monocoil from MineLab. And what I'm demonstrating here is how you want to be flat to the ground when you're detecting. You don't want to be up like that or you don't want to be out like that. You want that coil as flat to the ground as possible. Um, and you can even scrub the ground a little bit if, if you want. If your particular coil has some falsing, obviously you wouldn't want to do that. You can just lift it off the ground just like a, you know, a quarter of an inch or something like that. But, uh, you know, you get the best coverage when your coil is flat to the ground. You increase your chances of finding that target much easier. Um, anyway, uh, there you have it. Good luck in those gold fields. So check this out, guys. There's a hand-stacked wall for you. All those rocks were thrown out by someone along this whole inside bend. Pretty cool, huh? I think uh I think I'm gonna hit up I think I'm gonna hit up that wash right there and um, I don't know see if I can pick up something this hasn't been a very productive day I mean when it comes to gold anyway but then there's another wash right here another little gully that I can go up and so I'll go check that one out too if I have time but uh, yeah we'll find out we'll give her a shot anyway right one other thing that is very important when you're out here nugget hunting in the central Arizona gold fields is a pair of snips and a pretty good pair too. Don't go cheap on them. You might regret it. So anyway, keep that in mind when you're out nugget hunting as well. One thing to remember guys, is if you start finding nuggets, you've got to slow down. And this is when your patience will be tested, but you must slow down and you've got to start being more thorough and calculated. It's, it's very important. So just keep that in mind when you're out nugget hunting too. Well, folks, I just dug another target, and I really thought this was just going to be a hot rock or a little piece of trash, so I didn't turn on the camera, and it was in the overburden, too, so I was like, eh, you know, not really, might not be a good target, but look at what I got right on the tip of my finger there. Nice little one-tenth of a gram piece, probably. So I'm on the right track. I mean... Uh, there are some hand stacks in this gully. I've only been here once and I found a couple nuggets downstream, like I said earlier. So, um, you know, you just sometimes it helps to just come back with a different mindset, maybe, or, you know, just to, I don't know, and you just gain experience every time you come out. You're, you're always learning something, you're always doing something maybe a little bit different, or um, anyway, uh, there it is, little piece of gold. So, I'm just going to keep on going. Why leave now? Okay guys, so I thought I'd show you something. There's a, 
Let me move these bushes out of the way. This is something you might want to be looking for when you're looking at a, in a wash. These are that's a hand stacked wall there, and it was pretty much covered up with these bushes. But that is for sure, without a doubt, a hand stacked wall. So somebody was here before, and they uh, they stacked this wash, and there's a couple. There's some other ones upstream that are much more prominent, but you can tell they were at least, at the very least, sampling this wash. So uh, there's got to be some more gold in here. So far, I've only found that one piece. So and a uh, but a handful of trash too. So I don't know. Let's uh, we'll keep on going. Well, hey everyone, um, we sure gave it our best shot today. I only got those two nuggets. Whoops! Gosh dang! I can't even walk. So I mean. You know that's not bad but I kind of got my butt kicked I uh, it was a challenging day there was a lot of gullies and it just didn't turn out like I thought it would I thought for sure we'd find a patch today I really did that would have been so much fun and and you could have shared in on that and been a part of that so but anyway oh well we'll get back to the truck and and we'll weigh up the two little pieces that I did get and uh wow man that's some cat claw there so we'll weigh those two pieces up and and i they're probably about three tenths of a gram or something um anyway all right we will uh catch you in a little bit all right well let's weigh these up time to time to call it a day let's see it's on grams it's teared out oh that didn't even weigh Looks like about four tenths of a gram. That'd be about right. I was thinking somewhere around three. But uh, hey, you know what? That's not too bad. That's that's like 20 bucks worth of gold. So that took care of my fuel. So I'm definitely good with that. All right, so three, four tenths of a gram roughly. Uh, that's not too bad. I appreciate you coming along with me today. That was, it was, uh, it was exhausting, but it was a lot of fun. and. Found a little bit of gold anyway, and that's cool. Anyway, good luck on your prospecting adventures. I, I, I genuinely mean it. Uh, your success is up to you. You can you just work hard and uh, keep that coil on the ground, and we will see you next time. <laughs>